Hello fellow haters of the blue and welcome to my channel and welcome also to Heavy Contrast Marines. This is a series where I try to paint a space marine to the highest level possible using contrast paints and extra highlights. And this episode is a very special one because we are painting the coolest loyalist chapter in there is, the Dark Angels. Let's get cracking. As we see, we are starting from a base coat of Corax White. This was the, of course, the spray version, and I also did a thin layer with the base paint. And for the first step, we are doing a thin layer of Warpstone Glow. We don't want this to pull, we just want a thin, vibrant green color to serve as an under layer. Apply it as thinly as possible. and avoid pulling if you can. Work section by section, be patient. And if you see excessive pulling, just wipe it off with a clean brush. Our thin layer of wops and glue is now dry, and I'm going to move into Dark Angel's green. I'm doing a normal layer, and as I always do, move the brush in the direction you want the shadows to go, go panel by panel, and it's for example like here, you see the shade dropping more in the upper parts, you can always absorb it with your brush and move on. Don't do a layer too thick. We still want to see the green we applied below. We can emphasize the shadows if we feel they're not deep enough later on. Our base coat of Dark Angel's Green is now complete and you can see what a rich dark green it has left. And you can still see the bright green highlights underneath it. And now I'm going to move into highlighting this. And for this I'm using Warpstone Glow and I'm going to do an edge highlight. Thank you. 
as well as with an edge highlight. In the rounded parts, like the knee pad, I'm going to do a glaze using the same warpstone glow. The idea is to create a spot highlight right in the, center, in the upper part of the knee pad. Just like that. Warpstone glow is a very forgiving color to do this. It is the perfect color to practice this kind of technique. Your paint should be very diluted. I'm going to show you here. That's how much we are painting. Very thin. You can see how uniform and nice it glazes. I really like Wapstone Glow. Our highlights of Waps and Glow are now finished. I'm going to move into the next highlight. For this I'm using Mood Green. We essentially want to do the same thing we did with Waps and Glow, only try to keep it smaller. And concentrate it over the edges and the corners. In the rounded part, as we did with the Bobson Glow, we want to emphasize that highlight a bit more, again glazing a bit of the mood green. Just like that. Make the same kind of highlight, only a bit smaller. Concentrate it in the middle of the Bobson Glow, glazing with it before. Again, check your consistency, it should be very thin. Our highlight of mood green is now completed and this is the highlight that uh, gives the armor the really dark and your look. So you can, you can skip other, other steps, but the mood green is fundamental. Also, mood green is a fantastic color, it's one of my favorite colors ever ever made. I really love mood green. And for our last highlight on the armor, we are going to do a two parts uh, Gauss plaster green with one part mood green and we are going to highlight all the corners and do a dot highlight all around the armor. Also don't forget to do a dot right in the middle of the previous spot highlights. So with that last highlight, the green armor is now finished and I'm going to clean up everything that is not metal with Corax White. That of course includes the chest eagle.
all the rubber parts and joints on the armor. The leather parts. And we also clean up his knee. He will be part of the sixth uh, company, and this means this half of his knee needs to be bone. So, with Corax White, very carefully mark the middle part and then fill this half with Corax White. With all the other parts now cleaned up with quartz white, I'm going to start with the bone parts. For this I'm doing a 50-50 mix of a skeleton hood and contrast medium. I will apply this all over the parts that will be bone. While the skeleton hole dries, I'm going to apply Reef Charger Grey all over the pipes and rubber joints of the armor. This will give those parts a slightly blue tint and I will darken them a bit for the black temper layer that we're going to do later so it's not too bright. With the grip charger grey dry, I'm going to do the last coat with black temper over all the rubber parts. Our contrast paints are now dry and I'm going to do a deeper shading into the eagle on his chest with Fire's Layer Flesh. I will just run this into all the recesses. Be very careful with this. The paint is quite forgiving, but you do want I'm now going to move into highlighting all the bone parts. For this I'm going to do an edge highlight with palette with flesh.
And now for our final highlight on the white on the bone parts, I'm going to do a final edge highlight using white. Here, uh, I will do this as an edge highlight, as you saw, but also here, I will try to do a spot highlight in half of his knee to match the one on the right. With the white parts now done, I'm going to move into his rubber joints. I'm first highlighting them with Fenris in grey. For the last highlight on the rubber parts, I'm using Ulf Van Grey. What I want to do is just do a small dot in the middle of each of the previous highlights. While doing this, try to keep those extreme highlights in line with the extreme highlights on the leg that will create a very unified look of shine. And now, with all the armor finished, it's time to move into the leather. For this, I'm using Goro Granta Fair. Our first layer of Goro Granta Fair is now dry, and I'm going to apply a second one. Try the this one to be thin, we don't want to pull, we just want to intensify the girl grant the fur color. While our second coat of girl grant the fur dries, I'm going to paint the casing of his plasma thingy and I'm using flesh tears red. With our gold grant of fur and the leather dry, I'm going to start highlighting it. For this I'm using Death Cloud Brown. I will just do a simple edge highlight all around the leather. For a second highlight on the leather, I'm using Best or Flesh.
Now for a final highlight on the leather part, I'm going to use Angor Flesh. Just do dots of this in the corners of all the leather. Now we're going to focus on the red parts. For this, I'm going to highlight them using Wild Rather Red. I will just do an edge highlight all around the red. Our edge highlight of Wild Rather Red is now complete. Then I'm going to do the final highlight. This is Luganath Orange. And I'm just going to do small dots in the corners of all the panels. Our red is now done and I'm going to base coat all the metallic areas using Iron Breaker. Our Iron Breaker is now dry and I'm going to wash over all the all the silver metallic parts using a 3 to 1 mix of contrast medium and black temper. That is 3 parts of medium with 1 part of black temper. This works amazingly well as a wash and I'm not using noon oil all over my metallics ever again since I started using this. It simply is just better in every single way. Our wash with black temper is now dry and as you can see I glued all the parts of the model because this, this is the point where you want to glue them because uh, it makes no sense to highlight the parts that won't be seen in the metal, so this is the way to go. If you want to glue your miniature, this is the point you should. And now I'm going to highlight all the metal parts. For this I'm using a stone hole silver. I'm just doing a very simple edge highlight here. With our metal not finished, it's time to move to the final detail, and that is the, his blue accents. That includes his eyes and the plasma coils. I'm going to start with the plasma coils, and I'm going to do a coat of ethermatic blue. With my layer done, I like to absorb some of the paint in the middle of the coil, to make for a subtle lighter tone there, just like that, that will intensify our glow effect.
For his eyes, what I will do is layer it in this direction, so more paint drops here, and that part will be lighter and that part will be darker. If you feel the eye needs more color in the back, just lay an extra drop there. The ethermatic blue is now dry and I'm going to do a deeper shadow on the coils and the eyes using Achillean Green, which is by far the worst named paint ever made. As you can see, I'm just dropping this into the recesses of the coil near both and By making both ends darker, we will also intensify the glowing effect in the middle. In the eyes, I'm going to lay a bit of this paint in the darker part of the eye, towards the back. Just like that. With our Killian Green now dry, I'm going to re-highlight the coils using Corax White. I will do the full lines in the center, and I will keep this line shorter as I get to the end where I'm just doing small dot. And now for the final step in our model, except the base of course, I'm going to take pure white and highlight the same as we did with Corax white, but this time taking less area. We'll do the full coil in the middle and then start just doing less and less and I'm not going to reach the end one. Finally, with the same white, I'm going to do a dot in the back of the eye. And with that last step done, the model is finished and looking really good. I'm really proud of this one. I also took the liberty to finish his base. If you want how to make this base, go check this video. And that's all guys for this episode. I really hope you enjoy it. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Do you. Want to decide what I paint in the channel or have any recipe that you want me to make for you? Then consider Patreon. I have a Patreon account, you have the link in the description below. Patreon will help me do all the cool projects that I want to make and help me improve the quality of my videos. Don't be afraid, no content will ever be hidden behind a paywall, but it's a nice way to help me and you will get something back for your generosity. As I said guys, thank you very much for watching and a special thank you to Kevin Sulers and Kid Lenard for being the coolest persons in the planet. Be like these fine folks, join my Patreon and take control.